Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are going to be giving two of Aubrey's bedroom walls a bit of a makeover. I have always wanted to paint like a mural on a wall and I finally got Juan to cave and let me do it. So first we are prepping Aubrey's window wall with some painter's tape and I will be painting this a solid dark maroon color, specifically spiced potpourri. Personally, I love dark walls with white accents, so my hope was that Aubrey's windows would really pop off the wall when you look at them. We picked up our paint and supplies from Home Depot a number of weeks ago and I was able to start painting on a day that my mom was able to come out and help babysit so I could work uninterrupted. I've seen a number of painting hacks over the years online so I figured I would give one of them a try by putting a trash bag over the paint tray before pouring the paint for easy cleanup and to keep the tray clean for future use. This was definitely a 10 out of 10 hack. Then I got to painting. I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
So for the most part, removing the tape was pretty satisfying. There were a few places where the paint snuck under the tape, but that was an easy fix. Had I had more time, patience, and tons of flat white paint, I would have first done a coat of the original paint where the tape and wall met to avoid this problem in the first place. But because I wanted to make sure I had enough flat white for my mural, I skipped this step. Then it was time to call it a day. My mom had to leave and I had to resume my mommy duties. But so far, I was really liking this wall and as I predicted, the white windows look great in contrast to the dark wall. On a different day, again, when my mom was able to come out, I got to work on the mural. Aubrey and I agreed that I would paint her some fairy mountains, really just pink mountains, but I wanted it to sound more appealing to her since I was the one really making the decision. I started by sketching mountains on the wall using a pencil. I knew I wanted to have five different shades of mountains, so I had to go across the wall five times. I did go back and edit some of my mountains because I realized like none of the ranges, let's call them, were overlapping and were really lacking dimension. So once I got a template that I liked, I prepped my paint. I took the basic flat white paint already on our walls and added a little bit of the spiced potpourri to create a light pink for the highest mountain range. Originally, I was really going to get like really mathy with it and measure out specific proportions of white and maroon, but then I just decided to wing it, which thankfully worked out and saved me some extra time. For the subsequent mountain ranges, I just continued to add more spiced potpourri paint to the previous mixture. One technique that I used not only to save paint, but also to add some dimension was to dry brush parts of the mountains. For the top two ranges, this meant that the original white paint was left visible in some areas. For the bottom three mountain ranges, I first painted some of the previous color where I planned to dry brush the current color. Although I could have taken a little bit more time to plan and perfect this technique, I really do like how it turned out as opposed to my original plan of just having five solid mountain ranges.
I finished up by touching up the corners of the room and went over any areas on the window wall that were in obvious need of a second coat. Then it was time to catch my family's reaction. You love it? Yeah, but how did you design it? Did you move the bad elephant on his house down? <laughs> what do you think, Juan? Yeah. You, had, you, had, you didn't know what I was going to do. No. Right? <laughs> I love it. Did you get paint? No, I didn't get paint anywhere. You mean on I the... Did you just put white paint or something? I used some or most, but not all of our like remaining flat white. Yeah. And I just mixed a little bit of the regular color in each mm. time. And Daddy! Look at him! No! Be gentle. He just wants to yeah. give your toy some love. And... Yeah, Bobby's. I'm taking one bed, Bob. Um. <laughs> So, Aubrey, are you excited that you have fairy mountains in your yeah, room? Yeah, Mommy, this is for you when you walk away to God. Here it is. Oh, thank yeah. you. It broke off from a rosary. Yes, it did, Mommy. I'll turn it on chin to my rosary. Look. Ugh. Look, Mommy. Look. See this? Those thing? kiddos. Look. They yeah. had real scissors in their home. It was in this little boxy. Oh. Well, yeah, I hope you put them on time out. We're not supposed to hurt rosaries. Elsena, Mommy, this is for you whenever you are sway. Okay, thank you. It's one. Bubbly, do you ever see this? The real party. 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 <laughs> Bubbly, thank I'm really happy with how all this turned out. I like that the neighboring walls lead into the mural in their own way. I'm contemplating adding some of the stars that are currently on Aubrey's ceiling to the white portion of the mural wall so that it looks like the stars begin above the top mountain range and then extend onto her ceiling. But that will have to be in a different video for sure.
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little room makeover and Aubrey's sweet reaction. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button, and if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you clicked the subscribe button and stuck around, and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.